quilts and I'm here to do a block for you I was actually in Tuesday morning and I saw that easy quilting had a ruler called the easy twinkle star and it's a floating star ruler and they had this ruler in two sizes this is the small size and they also have one that was in a large size and it is this size ruler and today I am actually going to be working with the small ruler but I just wanted to show you both of them um, I'm trying to see what's going to place it on another ruler so for the large ruler it finishes at 8 inches and the small ruler finishes at 5 inches so yeah, we're going to work with the 5 inch ruler because when I was there they had more of those. So the larger ruler that finishes at 8 inch blocks, that ruler is $5.99 and then the small ruler which finishes at 5 inches is $4.99. So what I did was I actually picked up a couple extra rulers here so I have two extra rulers I actually purchased three of the small ones so I am actually going to have a giveaway with these so if you're interested in participating in the giveaway just leave a comment to this video also you will need to be subscribed to my channel so the first thing that I did was I opened up the instructions that are included so they have this little piece of paper here that's on the ruler and then when you open it up it has in three different languages the actual cutting instructions and they are working with this using strips piecing and I don't do a whole lot of strip piecing and I'm just basically doing four square so that I can make a block so I decided to just cut my pieces from scrap. So I already have my pieces cut. And I actually have two sets of pieces cut because there's two different techniques with the block. For one setting, you have what they're calling the twinkle star setting. And then for the second one, you have the floating star. And again, you can see that here. I've got my light right over this camera. So what I did was I put down what my cut sizes were for each size and then I cut out the appropriate pieces so that I can make four of these frame blocks here. So I have enough to make eight blocks because I'm making them both in the different sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and start sewing my frames around because I think this is one of those blocks where you will see the difference instead of me trying to show it to you on this little paper it'll show up better in an actual block so i am going to go ahead and sew all eight of my frame blocks and then i will come back and show you how i am going to trim them up i'm back and i have my two different blocks sewn i don't know if it's showing up very well in the camera but this block over here is seven and a half inches finished and then this block over here is eight inch finished and the reason why is because on one technique they're allowing you to use your charm so your five inch squares in the center and then over here you have the option of cutting your pieces five and one half and and then you'll end up with the same but similar type quilt blocks when you're done so the next step is to use the ruler and we're using the smaller ruler on both of these squares on the smallest square where we use the five inch charm there is a straight line and we want to put the straight line so that it's 
forming on all four edges of the block and since I'm on the wall this is not going to happen and so it will look something like that and I did notice that if you're not sewing exact quarter inch seam I got a little sloppy so what I do is I just make sure that I center the ruler in between the seam if I'm a little bit short and then what you're gonna do is trim on all four sides and then when you go to the block where you have the five and a half inch square in the center you actually are going to use the dotted line to align your block your ruler on your block so I'm trying to hold the camera and hold the ruler and so it will look something like that and again if your ruler is a little off like over here by my pinky then I would slide my ruler and just try to center the difference between the block so when you have cut your block out that now you do have bias edges and you need to be careful handling the block as well as you do have these extra pieces that are being created when you are cutting your block out. So let me go and cut all eight of my blocks because I have four blocks for each different setting and I'll be right back. I'm back and I have all of my eight blocks cut. So this is the one that has the five inch square in the center. And the difference I want to note now is that you can see where the tips kind of overlap here so there would be a slight overlapping of the tips when I sew the block together. And I will, of course, come back and show you the completed block. But I wanted to just show you the difference laid out. And this one looks exactly the same, except that there is no tip. So that's why they're calling this one the floating star. Because when I sew it, it's going to get even further apart. And up here, they're calling this one the twinkle star. So I will sew these blocks back and I'll be right back. So here are both of my blocks now that I have sewn them into the four patch block. And you can now really see the difference between the two. You can see that the star on the left side is bigger than the star on the right side. And that the star on the right side appears to float in the squares whereas the star on the left appear to have the points meet up they don't meet up exactly but they're about a quarter of an inch apart and so I have decided that I like this one on the left so that's the one that I am going to use and then this block here will just be added into my extra block storage I just wanted to sew it and show it to you so you could see the difference on camera so now we got all of those extra pieces that we cut and do note that on your blocks, when you sew this block, because your center is bigger than over here, these pieces on your left block are going to be smaller than the pieces that came off of the block on the right, than this block. So when I actually lay the piece on top, it's about a half inch bigger on one side so I don't waste anything I actually sew these type of things back together sometimes I will use them as the borders of the quilts and then other times I would just sew things like this back together and use them for the center of my mosaics quilts so I have sewn a couple of those together just so you can see what they would look like and I haven't trimmed anything I'm just going to sew the pieces together and then decide what I want to do with them after I do a few blocks but I'm not working on this I'm just making this as a work in progress just something to show you this ruler that I found at Tuesday morning also don't forget to Comment below if you want to be included in the drawing. You can also comment if you do not want to be included in the drawing. And if you win, you can let me know. But I plan to send a ruler. And maybe 
I'll send you some of my scrap five inch squares. They're not going to be a kit or anything, and I'm not sure how many of them I have, but I'll try to send at least 20 of my scrap five inch squares, although they will be prints. I don't think I have scrap five inch squares and lights because I had to cut these, but I will just send you some of my scrap. So two lucky winners for this drawing, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.